y'all and welcome back. So in today's video I wanted to do a first impression of some new hard candy things that I saw at Walmart. They have a foundation, concealer, and a setting spray that I found. They've also come out with a lot of new things but these are the ones I wanted to try the most. These don't mind my hair I just got out of the shower and it's air drying. So anyway I have my receipt right here and I'll tell you how much everything was. So the Glamouflage Invisible Camouflage Foundation I got mine in the shade N30 Porcelain. Um, this was $7. The next thing was the Sheer Envy Eye Brightening Concealer. It just says 10 Beauty Benefits in One. And that's what it looks like. It reminds me of like the... I know Maybelline has one where it's like a little brush and you just brush it on your face. And so I wanted to give this a shot since obviously I don't use Maybelline. Um, this was $6 for this. Oh, and I forgot to tell you the ounces. This is .06 for the concealer, and the foundation was 1.1 fluid ounce, so it's right up there with most normal foundation. And the last thing is this makeup setting spray. It's 2.2 ounces, and this was, but it was $6, so, and like I said, they are, they recently just you know came out so nobody has a good review of them yet so I wanted to go ahead and buy them and post a review to see if they are worth the money because like I said um hard candy is really hit and miss they have some really really great products and then they have some products that just suck and of course hard candy is cruelty free or I wouldn't have bought them see just on their packaging I don't know if you'll be able to see it but it just says we love our animal friends so without further ado I want to show you my first impression of these three new products. And then I just let those primers sit and marinate on my face. I want to have some tea in the meantime. Alright, now I use my George's Aloe Spray. I just put this on before I put foundation on, whatever foundation I'm using because I don't know why but my skin's been particularly dry for some reason it's super it, I mean it used to be super oily now it's dry I don't know what's going on or whatever I still get acne that's never gonna go away apparently but I just find using this underneath my foundation makes it to where the dry patches aren't like screaming you know like hello they just kind of like they just calm down so all right well that's settling into my face I already dampened my complexion sponge is what it's called the Real Techniques complexion sponge but I like to spray it just a couple more times with my uh, mist and set from elf I don't know if I like using this technique or not but I've been trying it out to see if I like it so I just spray it even though it's already dampened and just work the mist and set in there into the sponge alright now for the moment of truth to see if this foundation matches if it works, if I can get it open, what? Oh, come on. It has like no perforated line to it to where I can easily open it. Which I mean, it's a good thing that I'm glad it's safety sealed wrapped thing, but oh my gosh. All right, now that I've spent 20 years trying to wrestle the thing off. Oh good, it comes with the pump. I was like, after I bought it, I was like thinking to myself, oh crap, I don't even know if it comes with like a pump or not because I hate the things where you have to dump it on your hands because I end up dumping it all over my hands and all over myself. So I am super happy to see a pump on this bad boy. So let's try this out. Again, I got the shade Porcelain. It was the lightest one they had. That's what it looks like. It's kind of... Hmm. It's not really running. I was expecting it to be a little bit more money, but here we go. I don't know if it has a scent or not. I don't know if it's um, my mist and scent I'm smelling or if it's this I'm smelling. I can't tell which one I'm smelling. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. I should zoom you in anyway. It looks pretty light. Hmm. I mean, it's going on okay. I don't know if it would apply any differently with like a brush or anything but I've been into using my sponge recently so 
I actually don't feel it on my face either. Like even though I'm, I know I'm putting it on, I actually don't feel anything. Ooh, I may like this. It depends on how it holds up throughout the day though. Because we're now heading into spring and summer and that's just a whole bunch of humidity. Another thing I like about this is for being so light, it doesn't have a weird undertone to it. Like it's not yellow, it's not orange, it's not pink. It's just a nice light color, which I find so hard to find in any brand, whether it's like a drugstore or, you know, I've seen people with high end and it looks really orange. This actually looks pretty good. I would say the coverage is about light to medium at first. Well, no, I'm going to consider it more of a medium coverage foundation, but it's easily buildable. Like I'm putting an extra layer right here and it's not like caking up or anything yet. <clears throat> so obviously it's not covering like my really bad acne breakouts that I have or up here but for an overall appearance it actually makes my skin look pretty good i i never can find a foundation that i like that can cover up my hormonal acne it covers up like any small like little tidbits but i'm actually really enjoying this foundation it actually matches me really well i was afraid it was going to be way too light but it actually goes on and matches me very well. So that's what my face is looking like at this point. I wanted to read you the back of the foundation to see about its claims or, or whatever. It says a transforming liquid powder foundation that absorbs oil, camouflages imperfections, and delivers a long-lasting velvet finish. This skin perfecting fluid contains a super fine or contains super fine pigments for seamless full coverage without looking caked on. Infused with kaolin clay for exceptional wear and oil absorption, Skin retains natural moisture for 12 hours of flawless perfection and transfer resistance. Pairs perfectly with our Glamouflage concealers for extra covering power. Um, for the velvet finish that it says, it, it really is that. Like, I don't even feel like, I. it doesn't look like I need a powder, but I always have to set my face anyway because my face always likes to move and everything. And especially with our weather, when it's more humid here, no matter what you wear, you always got to have a powder on. Um, as far as absorbing oil, I think it did a pretty good job of that because I'm typically oily just right here throughout the T-zone like most people are and I'm dry everywhere else so it actually looks like it did a good job of doing that. Like I said, I'm going to have to wear it throughout the day and see what happens and it actually does give you full coverage when you layer thin layers. I wouldn't go in there just heavy duty coverage right away but building it up is going to give you that less caked on look and I don't look caked on. <clears throat> for all that I put on my face, I don't look caked on, which is amazing because some days you really need coverage, but the more you keep building, no matter how well you do it, it ends up looking cakey, and I don't like that, so this actually does a pretty good job of doing that as, as well. So like I said, I'm just going to have to wear it throughout the day and see how it wears, but this is what it's looking like so far. I still have to use the eye brightening concealer. It says 10 beauty benefits in one. It says reduces puffiness, diffuses shadow, softens wrinkles, even skin tone, eliminates dark circles, blurs line, brightens, conceals, corrects, and lifts. That's a mouthful. Um, I got this in the shade 938 Radiance. They had a couple others, but once again, I got the lightest one they had. I'm hoping this isn't so bright because I'm already pale as it is. I don't want to put anything too light on. I'll read you the back of it first. Um, instantly brighten the eye area and diffuse dark shadows while reducing the appearance of fine lines and dark circles. This wonder pen contains 10 beauty benefits in one and helps ease signs of fatigue for a refreshed radiant complexion. The medium coverage formula is infused with our unique sheer envy primer complex for all day wear. The brush applicator ensures seamlessly blendability to conceal imperfections. That's what the brush looks like. It's pretty sturdy. 
maybe it'll get the job done. So that's what it's starting to look like now that I've, oh, whoa. Oh, I thought it was spilling over, but that's what it's starting to look like now. So let's put this on. Oh, wow. <laughs> Let me zoom you in. I don't know if you can tell right away. It's really orange. Like, oh my goodness. I was going to put it all like in the triangle, but I'm not putting this on all over my face. So, I mean, I can understand if it's meant to be like a corrector. Well, it did say dark circles, right? It says dark circles, but I was thinking, oh, uh, eye brightening. So they went with orange or that peachy color. I was thinking, I was thinking I could put it all over the face, but it makes sense that if it's an eye brightening that it's this shade to help with the blueness. It's kind of, it reminds me a lot of my LA Girl Pro Concealer that's a little bit orangey. So I'm just going to take my Beauty Blender, I mean Complexion Sponge and blend that in. Oh not looking too bad. I have a lot of blueness on the inside of my eye or the inner part of my eye not the inside. There it is blended. I think it did a really good job. I should have did one eye at a time but too much product came out but I'm pretty sure it did a really good job of concealing my blueness and just brightening my eyes. Now I'm just going to set underneath my eyes before it creases on me. So I'm taking my Real Techniques setting brush and I'm using this Be A Bombshell Smooth Criminal Powder. I'm just taking a bit of that and putting it underneath my eyes. So that's what my eyes look like after I have set them. Now to set the rest of my face. It doesn't look like it needs setting but I always set my face anyways and I'm using the Essence All About Matte Powder and I'm taking that on a e.l.f. complexion brush and I'm not going heavy with it. I'm just setting it slightly so it doesn't move off my face. This is what my face is looking like after I have set everything so I will be back to show you the setting spray after I put everything on my face. I'll put the setting spray on and I'll let you know how that works. So I just finished putting on my makeup and now I'm going to try out the Fast and Fabulous Makeup Setting Spray it says a weightless spray that locks in makeup for all day wear. Spray over foundation, eyeshadow, blush, and concealer to set your makeup look. This setting spray works even in the worst weather conditions and lasts all day and night without melting, crack cracking, fading, or settling into fine lines. So I'm going to give this a shot. I hope it doesn't come out and just attack my face. So it says shake well, apply on top of makeup. Hold bottle 8 to 10 inches away from face and spray 2 to 4 times to evenly set makeup. So, I'm going to give it a shake. I'm going to push my hair back and hopefully it won't get in my hair. So, it comes with this kind of pump to it. I don't know. Let's see. So, it comes out pretty fine. And it smells like cucumber. Because I think I read... Yeah, it has cucumber in it. It has cucumber fruit extract. So, it smells like cucumber if you don't like the scent of cucumber. You might not like this. I love the scent of cucumber. I, it is one of my favorite scents in the whole world is to smell cucumber. So let's try this out. I got my mirror over here instead of in front of me. So let's try it. Hopefully I'm in frame. Okay. So that was three times. It came out and bigger droplets than I was expecting. So it didn't disrupt my makeup any. I don't see like it getting on my face and then making my makeup spread or anything weird like that. Um, of course I'm going to have to wear my face throughout the day and see what the foundation and if this helps or anything. So, so that was my first impression of these new hard candy items. I, like I said, I will leave a, like a quick review in the down bar explaining like how it held up throughout the day and stuff like that. So that's all I have for this video. If you did find it useful, please give me a thumbs up. Also comment down below your thoughts on this or anything else you would like to see from me in the future. If you are not yet subscribed, please go ahead and do so so you can stay up to date for my future videos. And that's it. And until next time, bye y'all.